What up, group group? Welcome to Alliance Wars Season 36, one number 7, where X5V goes against LAEPS, Latin America Peoples, whatever the P stands for. Um, this is a very jam-packed war, as you saw by the thumbnail. Someone dies in this war, and that someone could be me. So I have 10 fights this war, and I'm hoping to see, just prove my worth and just not die in this war. But as you see in thumbnail, it happens. So yeah. I was assigned Kitty Pride, Tigra, and I Bomb. The first war I've ever brought I Bomb to in season before. He's ranked 3, he's like 20. I was going to rank him up to a higher Sig, but he should be good enough at Sig 20. I heard Sig 80 is good, but I'm going to keep him at Sig 20. Um, so I'm going to be on Path 7. It's that long shot Kingpin, and then that has a shift Nick Fury. Um, it's going to be a grand old time with a lot of war fights. Um, as I said, 10 fights, then I have a. Korg on 23, and then I have Path 5, then I have some mini bosses and boss. So it's gonna be a really fun war. So his first fight is my Path 7, it's Kitty versus Longshot. The nodes on this fight are going to be Conflictor. So anytime you put a debuff on the opponent, they have they gain power, but there's obviously a off time for that, so you can parry after they gain power for about seven seconds, whatever it is. And then also it's power efficiency, so he uses half of his power for his special. So for a special one, he uses half a bar. For a special two, he uses one bar. So my goal here is just bait special two because I can phase the special two. He can't miss a special one. So I'm going to try my best to just bait special two, get up to 10 prowess, and just do my best from there. So far, it's going decent. He throws a special one. I was trying to block and bait special two there. But from here on out, it should be really easy to push into special two. Really easy, especially with his Mystic Dispersion. Should be really easy. Um, I will dodge some of them because I'm just an expert with MD and just the power efficiency. Bane special two should be super easy. Um, I plan on just holding my power and not throwing my special two at all. But I guess right here I just got the balls and hope that I finish him off with 19 prowess or 16 prowess. I can't see and he's dead. So that fight went pretty well. Um, if I redid this whole war, I'd probably run suicides for all my kitty fights and the last two fights or I bomb fights. I would just turn off suicide or just run poison suicide maybe um so i'm excited for this war um second fight is can pin on vivified and brute force so every few seconds if you don't hit him you degen and then he gains 200 percent combat power so he's getting a lot of power really quickly my goal is to bait special ones and he's just not throwing special ones so i'm like crap every time i've done this fight with a small attacker he throws special ones so willingly and i'm getting stuck in the corner that is not where I want to be. I don't have my unblockable. Um, I don't want to bait a special two. I want to bait a special one because it's special two. Ooh, and uh, heavy to the face. So it did help me get some power. Um, I do throw a light there just to take away from brute force. But now my goal is to throw a special three and to phase his special three. I still have two invuln hits. So if I can use it, I will. But I am degening a lot. I'm taking a lot of block damage. So much block damage. That was like 3,000, 4,000 total block damage. And right now, I have to go to special three. Boom, throw my special three. Really hope that I can phase off his special three. So what, he throws it while I'm phasing. It's going to be a quick phase because I'm not phasing right now. If I can phase it, I'll be stun immune because Kingpin special three stuns you. Um, that special three has a lot of damage. And he throws it just in time for the phase before the phase ends. Um, I just didn't know what was going to happen there. Now, it does waste an invuln charge just because it does. I wish it didn't because it misses. So I have one invuln left. I have a special three right here. I throw it right away, hoping that I would throw it when I'm still phasing, but the phase is about over. Somehow I get intercepted off out of nowhere, not sure how. And I hope this kills him. I'm breathing. Actually, I wasn't breathing at that point because I was just like, please kill him, and did not. So he throws plus one willing, willing now, which I'm happy for. Throws it again right away, which is also awesome. I wish he threw it like this earlier. Um, he throws one more, or does he? I think he throws one more right here. Yeah, he throws one more. So I wish he was like this earlier in the fight, but... It just happened that I had to take a special three for this to happen. So, not content with that fight. Because I lost so much health in that fight. And I still have another eight fights to go. So, I don't have that much time to waste this much health on all these fights. So, I put in two 14k potions. I'll total that up later. Now, it's time for this Hydra Shift Nick Fury. Um, I did have to clear someone who had to take no 22. So, normally, I would have just ran the same boost for this fight as that Korg on no 23. But it is what it is. You get what you get, don't throw a fit. So my goal here is to only hit him during the incinerate phase. Because if I hit him during poison phase, based on the node, he gets a nice big fury. 
and then his tactical charges never go away. Not that's a big deal, because I can just phase. I've, uh, I'm trying to get my all my charges. My goal is to bait his special two. If I have to phase a special one, I will. I'm hoping to phase it when he has more than five tactical charges, so that I gain power from it. But if I miss his special two, it's gonna take away all my prowess. So kind of not hoping for that to happen. Push him special two right here, awesome. It's gonna push him back. I do have the unblockable finally with 20 prowess. Um, he's in the poison phase. Just gonna bait special two if he throws it. I hope he does. He does, cool. I'm just gonna sit back here. And just hold block and just... Right here, I run in. Stupidly, I waste all my prowess. Stupidly. And then I think I just didn't notice what happened. and take three hits to the face. They crit just amazingly. Just look at all the damage. I'm at like 30%. Obviously, I throw a special three right away. Mainly so I can get my adrenaline healing. And I can just take him down even more quicker. Because you hit me, I'm hitting you, boy. I was so mad about that. Lost my prowess. Um, pushing that special two. Going to push him back right here. Now he's in the... Poison phase, the moment that he, he lost his um his decoy. My bait special two. And I'm at 50%. So I'm just not happy. That's two fights in a row. I'm like around 50%. He's going down. It's not very high sig Nick Fury because he's going down really quickly. Um, so if you're going to place Nick Fury, just sig 200 it. Why not? Just just do it. <laughs> um, he, he's got a special two. I'm going to throw a special two. Unfazed things I know it's going to kill him. And he is done. See you, Nick Fury. Thanks for the fight. You hurt me really bad, but I'm glad it wasn't a light bleed because I would have been dead if that was four hits in a light. It would have been dead. So thank you for not killing me. So on to the fourth fight is Kitty versus Korg on Mixmaster and Aggression Prowess and Power Focus. I am reboosting for this fight because it did take a while to get to here. And I think it's the next day, to be honest. And I was traveling for the long weekend and I was hoping that we get this done quicker. There's five hours left of war and we haven't cleared section one yet. So... I had to wake up, and this is my first fight I did in the morning. I don't fight great in the morning, but it is what it is. And I think I boosted three or four times this war. I would have rather made it twice, but if people are from all different time zones, it's hard to move. It is what it is. Um, I think that was why I was given 10 fights. Just because Kitty can do a lot of fights, and just because just to get fights out of the way. Um, I'm boosting up with 20% boost. I think I'm going to do Section 2 with these same boosts. I hope. Um... Let's see, because I'm using a mutant attack boost, and the next few fights I'm going to use Kitty for. I think it's for the next four fights. Um, should be a lot of fun. So the goal here against this McMaster Korg is I have White Max pre-fight from a buddy. I think it's from Okizzy, so thank you for that, or whoever else gave it to me. Um, and just parry, light, light. I really want to parry medium light, because I can phase off his throwing damage. So I'm not sure why I do light, light here. I just wanted to get rid of his charges quicker. Um, I could have just ran in there and done a combo also. But it's Nick Master, so he can't do the same attack in a row while he's not stunned. Um, so I'll mainly stick to medium light if and when he's not stunned. I'm going to take away his thing. I'm going to dash out here. I think I took no damage to that because I'm phasing, which is nice. And I take a combo to the face. Five hits to the face. I'm like, really? Are you f kidding me? I'm not playing well at all. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Usually I'd run in here and just do combos like this. Throw a special two. And it's during his rock shield. So I don't even know what, what, am I, what am I doing. My prowess is gone. I could have done three hits in the light there. I took some nice hits to the face there. I think I'd do it again soon. Uh, but now I'm finally waking up. And I'm like, alright. I can dash back medium light now. I can finally do this correctly. So just going to be doing dash medium light. He has power focus one. So he's not getting that much damage. Um, watch out for the evades. It is what it is. He, it missed there. So... Yeah, I can finally just... I woke up. It was the first fight in the morning. I don't even know what I'm doing. Dash out here. Probably didn't have to take that block damage, but it is what it is. Throw a special three, I think. Now that his... Um, now that his... Rock stacks are gone. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Don't know why. I'm just I'm just re-watching this. I'm like, what was I doing? Um, hits into my phase because he can. Um... Dash out here, take no block damage to that because I was blocking, but I was phasing. Get a nice intercept. His rock stacks are gone, so I can do whatever I want. I get a full evade here. Watch his foot smack down. Um, a few more hits. Take down the rock shield, special one, and he is done. So, yeah, another fight that I'm near 50%. That's three fights in a row. That's another few potions I'm not happy about. Could have done a lot better in that fight. A lot better in that fight. But hopefully I'm still boosted up the same. Another... I think it's another two health potions. Um, going in to path five um, against a scorpion. 
goal here is to, if I get a Sting Burst or a Sting Charge or a Poisons, watch out for his Evade and just make sure you phase off the Sting Damage and build my prowess up to 20 if I can. And just, it's Ebb and Flow Intercept, so just intercept when I can when I'm phasing. It's very safe. Um, block specials because I'm just a dweeb. Um, if he dashes back, just don't be silly. Cool. I'm getting my prowess up nicely. I did miss that, but it is what it is. Um, he hits into my phase once, but I have my, my intercept up. Cool. Gonna try and heal from that uh, that poison if I can. Watch out for his um, his evade because he has that charge up, so he has a chance to evade. Oh no, he threw a heavy out of nowhere. What are we gonna do? I think he evades right here, but he did the sting damage, but um, I phased it, so not a big deal. Throw the special one again. I'm gonna try and finish this fight off with as much health as I can. Gonna get an intercept off, intercept off right here and a special two. So, hoping this kills him. If I did this war again, again, I would have just done all my fights with Kitty with suicides, but then would have finished it off so much quicker. Um, now, the next fight is Sasquatch. I'm going to use Kitty Pride for this fight. I was told I bomb or Kitty Pride, but because this node has Mighty Charge, I figured he'd be shrugging off all of the poisons from I bomb. So, I'm sure it's a good counter, but I'm just, I really want to do Kitty because I've seen Kitty do this fight before from many other YouTubers, and I'm like, this is my turn. <laughs> I want to do it. So I'm going to build my prowess up. It is Mighty Charge. So it's hard to get my parries off. So I'm trying to get as much prowess as I can. And watching this fight back, I don't even know what I was doing. Uh, the best time to throw specials is when his charges are low. And that's mainly because he has physical resistance per charge, basically, I believe it is. Um, I'm throwing a special two with influence up, and then it ends. And he has four or five charges, so it didn't even do that much damage. Um... Don't know what I'm doing. Still unblockable. Not getting my prowess. I tried to do a 5-bit combo so I can get as much crits as I can to get more prowess up, but it just didn't work. Gonna evade special 1. And now it's finally down. Gonna just run in here and hope to get a parry. Missing my parries, but got a re-parry on the fourth or third or fourth hit. Took a lot of block damage there or whatever. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna dash in here. Cool. Get some more prowess. Lose my prowess. <laughs> uh, he gets his dexterity buff. He parries me. Great. Thanks. Um, I think I tried to avoid a parry earlier from that, but then he parries me out of nowhere. He has four or five charges again, and I throw a special two, so it does like no damage. If I had my suicides on, it would have done a lot more damage. Gonna okay, bait special two, um, and just keep building my charges up. So, yeah, he has Wrath of Tanarak. This would be a great time to throw specials, because my specials at least, not just his, because Wrath of Tanarak, he has no physical resistance, and. Yeah, so his goes away. Almost take a hit to the face there. I don't know how I got that dodge out of the way. Um, I finally get my three prowess, and I can phase again. Just going to push him back if I can. And he gets a combo on me. So nice little rupture. Nice little crit on me. And another fight that I am going to be around 50%. So throwing a special three after I intercepted him. Wishing it killed him. Wishing it did. But it does like 10% damage at most. Um, he has a special three. Hoping that he... Um, I phase a special three because I don't have an uh, inbound boost on. This could kill me. Could kill me. And I'm phased. So I'm really happy that I'm phased on this. Um, but he does activate Wrath of Tanarak again. It will be a quick one, I believe, because he didn't have that much charges. I have not hit into my phase because I can. Um, I was getting in trouble there, so I'm glad that I had my special three there active. Um, this rupture is not very pretty. And he's just hitting into my block over and over. And I'm so low in health. I was very risky there. Tried to throw a special 2 to finish off this fight. Because I took so much block damage. It still doesn't finish him off. He's healing up so much. So much healing. Hoping that I'm able to just finish him off with a special whenever I can. Get an intercept off if I can. 5 prowess. 9 prowess. 10 prowess. And special 1. He's dead. So that fight was messy. I would have held my power kind of to the end of the fight if I could have. And then the 7th fight of the war. It's because it's Black Cat. This fight actually did not record. I had memory issues, not just in my head, but in the phone. So I had to delete some to free up some capacity. Um, that fight went really well. Finished with 100% health around there, as you can see. Um, I don't even use Kitty for the rest of the fight. So whatever health he's at is what I finished at in that fight. Um, and then this next fight is a Tiger fight versus Angela on Vigorous Assault. So if and when she regens, or has a re regen buff up, she goes unblockable. I did a lot of duels against this using Tiger, so I learned how to counter a special one. I learned how to counter a heavy. I learned do not throw a heavy attack in the corner, because she will counter it. 
so I will get hit in this fight, and I will get hit from throwing a heavy in the corner, so I didn't learn my lesson. Luckily, this is my only Tiger fight, so I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Um, if I do take some damage, it's fine. Just don't die. Um, and I learned how to counter it. Two dashbacks, or three dashbacks, I think. Two light attacks. Throw a special two with my senses up. Awesome. She is a conduit defender, so she will regen a lot of that damage back. But also, as you see, I'm getting some of that damage back. I'm just destroying her. She gets a regen buff. I don't know where she got that from. Throw a special one, because I'm just trying to get some damage out and just push her. Um, light attack, light attack. Awesome. Right here, I think I throw a second heavy. I tried to, and I knew not to heavy counter her in the corner. I knew it, and I did it anyways. <laughs> so silly me. Um, but I get a lot of power back from that. It was really nice. Light, light, hold heavy, awesome, throw it. I have another special two in my throat right here. And just getting her down. This would be a lot faster fight without conduit, but it's just, it's a super easy fight with conduit up. Um, just know how to counter her special. I'm sure there's a way to counter a special one. Throw a special one here, hoping it does a lot, a lot of rupture damage. It does some rupture damage, so another one does a lot of rupture damage. Doesn't work. I would normally throw a heavy there, but I just know that her heavy attacks, she would have hit me and destroyed me. And she hit me anyway. So medium, medium, one crit, not a big deal. Gonna throw a special one just to get a sense up, whatever, to push her because I can. And heavy attack, and it basically over with a special one. So it went really well besides a few hits to the face that I got. <laughs> and on to the next fight. This is the ninth fight of the war. This is against Kitty Pride on stun reflection. Basically, if you stun her, she reflects it. Unless you have a poison or incinerator on her, then she has a timer when you can stun her. Um, and it's also poke it up power, so you can't get normal power, only by applying some debuffs on the opponent. And obviously, I'm getting a lot of power from applying all those poisons on her. And I'm able to parry her because of the fact I got poisons on her. So, it's got to watch out for that timer and just only parry her. She will, I will do extra damage when she's parried, which is nice. But I'm going to bait special ones here just because it's very easy to dodge out of and to dump her prowess. And right there, I got a nice parry, got some nice damage. Um, extra damage from my poisons, just because I think it's 200% extra damage while she's stunned. Get a nice special two. Thank you, Polka Dot Power, for all the health. It's super nice. Kind of wish I was able to use the same boost for this fight as the boss fight, but everyone was moving slow. I think there was like, I was out and about, because again, I was traveling for the holiday weekend, and I wasn't in a hotel or anything for these fights. These fights I had to do out and about, and then the last fight I had to actually do in a car. Although it was parked, AC was on, but still, I'd rather do it where I can sit down and just focus on myself and not have any distractions. But it is what it is. Um, special one to the face, she's dead. So that was a really good fight, fist, 94% health. Um, the first I-bomb fight I've ever taken in season, and it went really well. So hopefully the next I-bomb fight in season goes well against that Doom boss. And yeah, with an hour and a half left in war, I probably could have moved an hour later, but this is when I was free and I couldn't promise I'd be free later. And I finally got unlocked or f the boss got unlocked and no more nodes on it. At this point, I have seen a rank four I-bomb do this fight. Um, a buddy of my alliance, McLeod did it. He destroyed it. Uh, if you want to watch it, it's on Rob's channel, aka 30k units. He posted it in one of his war videos because he likes to pour post some um, boss fights whether it's him or wasn't him is to post them so check him out um but yeah i have a rank three sick 20 he had a rank four sick 100 sick 200 so obviously a lot different but i got all the debuffs i got odin pre-fights i got uh mr f pre-fights i got white mac also i had also known as mr fantastic debuffs or pre-fights and then white mag pre-fight so all the pre-fights mr fantastic pre-fights will only last this this fight so if i die then I lose those. Um, the Odin pre fights, if he throws a special one and I miss it and it goes unblockable, then he's going to take away those and just miss the explosion or fuel it. So he does have the Petrify out for Mr. Fantastic. So luckily I can block that first one. Um, it's just really safe to block it. I am losing a lot of health from block damage. But once I get my special two going, it's super easy. The goal here is a special two and I take a special one to the face. So there goes my indestructible boost. Um, I have a shock on me. I cannot get heavy to the face because I don't have it. I, it's just terrible. I, I just hate taking hits to the face. And he's only at 95% health. So I've, I've done like nothing so far in this in this fight. And I've already lost my invon boost. So I wish I had a other boost for this fight. But at least invon boost took away some damage. Um, my goal here is to throw special twos. Then all special ones. But with my aura up. And keep my aura up as long as I can. Um, sadly. I am baiting Doom special ones. And the reason why it's sad is because when he throws plus one, he gets his aura. 
And because of that, I have to wait it out all the time with our specials. And this freaking Doom is defensive as a AF. He's just taking that special to the face. I don't have a Petrify up yet for the special one. I have to wait out his aura now. And my aura timer is finally going down. Throw a special one to get a Petrify up finally. My first special one in the fight. He's going down nicely now that I have special ones. I can just block special one if I want of his because he has Petrify up. And that's just kind of my goal here. But this little jerk does, doesn't throw specials at all. Heavy to the face for no reason at all. Luckily, I have resist up. But still, my aura time is going down. And he's just not throwing his specials. And just wastes my aura and wastes the petrifies. Look, he just dashes back. I can block this, luckily. Run in here, do a nice combo. Trying to get my aura to stay up by throwing a special one, but I just can't do it. So I lose that. I take freaking combo to the face. Luckily, he didn't heavy me there. But combo to the face, I'm at 27%. While he's only at 54%, I was doing so good. I threw a special one just to get some health back from Adrenaline to put on the Petrify because I can. My aura is gone, so I don't do that much damage. I get combo to the face some way because now he just has to be offensive and I die. <sighs> My first death of the season in War 7, aka War 4, whatever. And I died. So luckily this war is already won by this point because they died a lot more than we did. Um, even if I lose three attack bonuses this fight, I we'd still win. But I, don't, I didn't want to die. I want to show that I'm trusted on boss fights. And I throw on three 14k potions, heal up again, and just go straight in. So hoping I still have my inbound boost. I have no clue if that was three minutes or not at this point. Um, obviously, right now, I know I still have my inbound boost, but I didn't know then. I still have my Odin pre-fights. Obviously, the Mr. Fantastic pre-fights are gone. Um, and it's just not a pretty war fight. And I still have half of his health left to go. So, not happy with how this is going. I, if I did this fight again, I would probably bait special twos instead of special ones. I have a shock on me, so I have to watch out there. Um, he took away one of my Odin pre-fights out of nowhere. Nullified it with his aura. And he throws aura up again. Dash in again. And gotta wait for that to go down to throw my special two. Lucky he throws it again. He's being a little bit more offensive. And there goes my Odin pre-fights and my indestructible boost. Luckily I had it there. And I'm in the corner, so now I'm trying to, I gotta throw a special two right here with a full combo. I think I throw it. Yeah, I do. So I'm close to a special three. I throw it. And now my, my toxic aura is up. Just hit him here. And right here, I should have just baited a special two. That's all I should have done. Cause I can't, I don't want to lose the aura again. Cause that's just not pretty. Cause now I gotta wait out his aura when he throws a special one. And right here, I give it up. I'm like, whatever. I need to keep my toxic aura up and just keep and get a petrify in him. I'm just gonna bait a special two and just block it if I can. If I can, hoping I can. He throws it when I'm far away, which is nice. Dex the first hit and just block the rest. Cool. Probably could have dashed in here, but I just didn't want to get parried. And my aura is timing down. So I'm not very happy about this. I have done a lot of damage to him in the last minute and a half from having my, my special two up and special ones. But now I need to get a special two up again. And I got to redo all this again. He's being defensive AF again. So I need to just do as much damage as I can. Try and get down a special two. And lucky he didn't he didn't hit me there. Got very lucky there. Because the inbound boost is already gone. A full combo would kill me. Especially with the heavy attack. Um, gonna be a special one right here if I can get it out of him. Before his aura goes away. Perfect just in time. I think I dash in and throw a special two right here. I think I throw it. No, I don't. And now I gotta wait out his uh, aura again. Throw, I get a special one to the face. I'm at 46% from 100% all the way down. And I'm hoping, hoping I can finish this fight off without dying again. Cause now my poisons are coming back. Awesome. Um, he is a conduit defender. I forgot to mention that. So he will be reaching a lot of the damage back. But I'm hoping to out damage it. Throw a special one right here to just get him down. I don't throw a special one because he has aura up. Of course, that's why. He's going down almost. I, need, I just need to throw a special one and he is dead. He's at 4%. He gets a stupid shock at me. Lucky I didn't crit. Almost killed me. He kills himself right there. <sighs> a shock. Heavy attack. Just wasn't very pretty. He has aura up. He... No five minutes dexterity. But anyways, we ended up winning this war. Got the boss down, which is dying once. Hoping I don't die next time I take that fight. Hoping, crossing my fingers. Um, I used eight or nine 14k potions this war, so it was a, not a very pretty war for me. Uh, especially when I didn't die, it still wasn't very pretty. Did 10 fights, one death. Total of 27 fights this season so far. Um, and 
we're finally on a win streak. So two and two, which feels really nice. Um, they died 20 times and we died 11. So like I said, the war's already won on our part. And I was MVP number one with 10 fights, of course. Not that it matters, but I just want to show you that 10 fights because a black hat fight didn't show. Um, so I do prove it right here. Not that it's a big deal to prove anything or not. Um, but yeah, if I would do this this war over again, I would put suicide down for Kitty. I would just bait special twos from Doom and just block it because of the fact that I get weaknesses on him from my block. And I would just hopefully do the fights better. Um, obviously, traveling, it's harder to do fights, but... I found time during some of the fights to just sneak into the hotel room, but some of the fights was out and about, and it is what it is. That's on me, though, and I could have done those fights better. I did so many duels against against Dooms to prepare, but yeah, enough talking, Coop. Just thanks for coming to this war video. It's Coop sign off. He happy gaming.